please show one example of something I've lied about. Challenge accepted? <laughs> to make things a little bit more fun, I've placed some restrictions on myself. I will only be using things from this thread. One, because it would be too easy otherwise. And two, I have better things to do. So I'm going to start off with this little fib here. L-O-L. -L. I'm not obsessed. That's what Steve tells people. I don't look at Steve's stuff for weeks at a time, and occasionally I comment on him. Feel free to look at my output. Neat. I did that. A search that only included Steve's name, my name, and one stupid nickname Laura uses for us each. I scrolled and scrolled and stopped when I hit one tweet that had a different Steve tagged. Take your bets now about how long that is. And to be clear, these are only tweets where she uses our names. This doesn't include all the tweets she has made talking about us throughout a thread or anything like that, just the ones that have our names or we are tagged in. Initially, I had answered her challenge to show her lying in a rather cheeky manner on Twitter when I posted uh, her explanation of the issue that she seems to have with Steve, as it is a gross misrepresentation, enough so that I would consider it a lie. Steve lied when he said he didn't know I'd transitioned. He knew in September, but posted the pic in November. He only had to look at my pinned tweet to see what I look like now, or not post a picture at all. Instead, he lied and claimed it was from an old hangout of his. It wasn't. It's the visual equivalent of dead naming. It's the exact defaming behavior transphobes use when they attack transgendered people. Not only that, he said, this is Laura, but posted a picture of me not as Laura at all. Steve knew I transitioned in September but posted a pic of me as a man in November. Then Cheshire came out with a whopper of a lie and claimed that Katie was saying Steve sexually harassed me when I was a man. The first lie I'm going to touch on is, quote, a whopper of a lie and claimed Katie, that's Katie Joy Polson, by the way, was saying Steve sexually harassed me when I was a man. End quote. Since this has been going on, four other women have come forward and told me that they have gone through similar experiences with him. They have been accused of doing all kinds of things, and he has targeted them. One woman named Fiona has told me that she has been targeted for over a year. Another woman named Laura told me that she has been a target of his for months. And I did not falsely accuse Steve of sexual harassment. Just shh. You guys, it didn't. I can find at least 10 other women that have the exact same story as me. I'm not falsely accusing them. He made statements to me. You're not going to make me apologize for your bad behavior. Look in the mirror. Stop making women objects, please. Stop it. Stop targeting women. Four other women have come forward and told me that you did the exact same thing to them. Laura has a lot of things to say about you. So does Fiona. When I posted this cheeky little response, she then doubled down and responded with this as if it backs up any of her claims. L-O-L dot dot dot. Thanks, Chesh Liar, dot, dot, dot. You just proved that you are a liar on the whole thing, too. Because you were in the thread where Steve knew I was trans in September and posted the pic of me as a man in November. Pics for now, dot, 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 dot. Video coming soon. First one says, Steve, get over it, Laura. You're just clearly fixated on me. I don't think of you that way. And I will never date you. Sorry, you're not my type. You will have to stop obsessing about me. No means no. Wow, is that where you're going? Is that what you think winning an argument looks like? Because I'm trans, I want to date guys, dot, 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 or guys like you, puke, 
sick. Blech. That's really creepy. That says nothing about me, dot, dot, dot. But it speaks volumes about you. September 18th, 2019. Steve, this is Fiona and Laura, the woman Katie Joy thinks I sexually harassed, even though I know damn well neither of them ever told her anything of the sort. They are vile people, but even they wouldn't go that fucking ridiculous. At Chesh, Katie clearly has no clue who they are. November 29th, 2019. Let me break out the crayons and explain this like you're five. One, these pictures don't show Steve claiming to, to not know you were trans after September. Two, this does show that you don't understand the concept of a metaphor. You behave like you want Steve's attention. You act like an ex-girlfriend or a fangirl who stalks someone. Three, Steve said nothing about you being trans being related to why you may or may not be his type or what your sexuality may or may not be. Considering that he has explained on multiple streams that he's into intelligence, I think we all know exactly why he's just not that into you. Four, if I'm the one who came up with that whopper of a lie... Why are you showing a screenshot of Steve making the claim that Katie said that? Plus, I already showed she did. So where in your second screenshot does Steve say anything about you being trans? In conclusion, neither of these back up the crap you spewed in the screenshots I responded to your being a liar in. So guess that still stands. Jesus! Is this thing still scrolling? Fuck. Well, okay, just for funsies, the let's talk about inconsistency, also known as rules for thee, but not for me. Oh, I'm sorry. If you make a mistake or lie and get caught out, it's only fair that you apologize for it. You'll note that I have apologized for mistakes I made during this thread. One thing. And that's because she tried to pull some crap and everybody was like, bruh, no. Holy shit, did you just agree with me? You do realize you just agreed with my point? So if it's good for someone else to do it, why is it not okay for Steve to do it? And that holy shit is genuine incredulity. I realize how it can be read. It, come on, dot dot dot, be a grown-up, huh? What? The actual fuck are you complaining about? What the fuck did you see? What did she see? The usual. Stuff that isn't there. Oops. Dot 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 comma. Sorry, you're right. I misread that. Sorry. The fact that you needed this explained means this conversation is over. Well, if you want to avoid dealing with the double standard of Steve harassing, but being able to call anyone who disagrees with him slash confronting his BS dot dot dot, and want to avoid explaining what is far worse from other people dot 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 dot, sure, you can do that. Here you can see her jumping to the conclusion that people are referring to her as an it. Obviously, not the case. Quit jumping to being offended. And this person here is right. You think that perhaps maybe the fact that she's jumping to being offended and looking for things to be uh, offended by, that maybe she misread something that Steve said, since neither of her screenshots had him saying anything about being trans and simply pointing out that when he was accused by someone for sexually harassing Laura, that Laura was a man when he knew her to defend himself. Side note, KJ got that info from somewhere. I wonder where. Another woman named Laura told me that she has been a target of his for months. Laura has a lot of things to say. Another woman named Laura told me Laura, Laura told me, told me Laura, Laura told me Laura, Laura told me Laura. Seven minutes, seven minutes of scrolling. Do you see that date? 
July 3rd, 2019, you want to play the oh woe is me, I'm trans card? You've been harassing a veteran for over a year. Funny thing about that date too, what was it that was going on around July of 2019? Oh... That's right, the non sequitur show blowout. Interesting that all these little blender brains coming out of the woodwork thinking they could take pot shots and kick Steve while he was down. Nice objective standard of morality. So, back to consistency. I'm sure the video coming soon will be an apology to myself and Steve, because, you know, this... Jesus, you guys, stop this. Enough is enough of this bickering. If I had you all in a room, I'd bang your heads together. All of this is in the past. It's no longer relevant. Katie Joy Polson has made her bed. Now she has to lay in it. Despite how it may seem, this actually has nothing to do with her, in my opinion. You should be telling everyone that they should shut up because it has nothing to do with them either but being a hypocrite double standards aren't a problem for you are they chesh <laughs> <sighs> laura please stop you misread again i was saying she as in katie joy you agreed with me about this screenshot this isn't about katie because there was no apology for this misunderstanding, and definitely is not just her looking for shit to bitch about constantly. Yeah, yeah, get your shit together. Oh, speaking of misunderstanding and the lies, uh, when Laura claims Steve is lying about knowing when she was transitioning uh, November versus September, here's what's actually being referred to. So I actually found this. Steve, ten women came to Katie, then four women came to her, then it's Fiona and Laura. Fiona is ten years my senior, and Laura was cliff jumper, and only recently transitioned to Laura, which at the time I didn't know about. You think I sexually harassed Laura? At Red's rhetoric, dear god. He's not talking about that year. He's talking about how he didn't know you were trans when he knew you six Years ago. You know, the time frame in which he would have had to sexually harass you if what Katie was saying was true? That he's defending himself from that? That you didn't correct? You dishonest little shit. Really. You're just looking to be offended and reading into things shit nobody is saying. Confirmation bias is a dangerous thing. Something that you might have noticed in those screenshots. Laura jumps into that shit, but does nothing, fucking nothing, to correct the information or to say that Steve didn't sexually harass her when she was a man, and goes the opposite way and actually uses him defending himself by pointing that little fact out to now say he's sexually harassing her and equating it to dead naming. Funny thing about dead naming, by the way. If you don't want people to be confused or use your dead name, then maybe don't use it in your pinned tweet. You slanderous bitch. So yeah, you apologized for one thing, not more than one. You didn't apologize for shit you should have. And yeah, you lied about the whole situation this time. Have been lying about it and will more than likely continue to lie. We heard you. We're done. And now, you can be done. Please, I implore you. Stop it. Get some help. Whew. That was fun. Let's play a little game in the comments, though. How many of Laura's lies did you count? Like, sub, hit the bell. You asked, and I provided. And hey, what can I say? Except... You're welcome for the lies I pull from the tweets. There's no need to pray, it's okay. You're welcome. Ha, I guess that's just my way of being me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da